Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <tries> ni suna wannan tasiti an karatun bango ya nuso ka tace nan tashi national chief imam uyiri in ce na an tabiya upi in wannan sunuru ku tuma ce na tuni wannan alhaji uzaima usman wannan ya executive secretary ta ipsec ni sunset fan wannan nan wannan ya national chief imam upi ma'ana wannan sunuru ku tuma ma ka ce na tuni ukwan kwa na biyu sawar mira ngo tuni ka tace nan tashi zuna ma nama ta fi an tuni ta lamanfi ma ziyara ka on tusuri ni tina ka alhaji uzaima ku zan ku kursa kan bini in zanci manfurgu da gbangu gunjes farfardama zib sokam ni sokam in ta fanu tusungu da an begana za ta ce fi baci daya da zugu ta labla alhaji uzaima sani ku zan kwashi national chief imam wayo ni zan kwa musun sida al'umma ka ta zan kan nola ku zan tsuro ta fi tv sha zugu ni ku har koma na ma kan yan tv tan kam a tani kam bushir dangba yungu kurga wai zan kenta ba minta peta halini yungu kurgi piye iya minta peta program sha tambu ni de umala kanyala bushir dika yin zorka zugu insha Allah hurabi ka tekpa nusukong da sa se pi tekpa nta manga ka gohadra tivo ma na ma on this note insha Allah de man program islamic council led by the so traditional supreme leader who is Al-Haji Ibrahim Al-Hassam, that is the Jenga Imam, led a delegation of the Mamprug Islamic Council Executive to pay a courtesy call on the National Chief Imam of Ghana uh, in the person of Prof. Uh, His Eminence Sheikh Usman Nuhu Sharbutu. Uh, we have uh, brought our tazia for our late mother who passed away recently, and then we seek the permission uh, of the National Chief Imam. Uh, and he delegated uh, al haji Uzema to stand on his behalf and give a general advice to the Ummah, especially the Northern Brethren and all the Zungus in the country. So I introduce to you the PA, the Executive Secretary for Sunset Fund and the IPSEC of the National Chief Imam Office in the person of al haji Uzema Usman. al haji Uzema, Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalamu Wa Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Wa Barakatuh. Uh, we thank Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala uh, for this great opportunity to have to share one or two ways and advice with you from the advice that we always hear from His Eminence, the National Chief Imam. Uh, let me first of all thank you so much for driving hundreds of kilometers uh, to come and uh, pay your condolence to His Eminence, the National Chief Imam, on the demise of his junior sister. Ajia Aisha Tusharubutu, uh, who is uh, popularly called and known as Mantonko. Uh, she died last two weeks, and she was buried uh, the following day. And uh, Alhamdulillah, all the uh, funeral ar arrangement and activities had concluded last week, Thursday. But, you know, the doors are still open for people who want to come and say they are condolences to his eminence the national chief imam uh, we want to thank the imam who came we want to thank the mamprungu uh, islamic council uh, the imam of uh, nalerugu and the rest those who delegated him and who delegated you to come we thank you so much and uh, we are also with you with all the disturbing news that we heard about some guns that were being uh, they call it uh, uh, people who were arrested with some guns in the northern region we are with you with with spirit, in spirit, and with our, with prayers, the Seminary the National Chief Imam is deeply concerned when we inform him of what is happening. Uh, we always pray for the stability in the development of the northern region. Uh, that is where we all came from. Uh, uh, let me 
say this on behalf of His Eminence, the National Chief Imam, that we are always grateful. Uh, you know, I'm taking this opportunity to say that we are always grateful to all the leaders, the Islamic leaders and the rest uh, in the northern region who always show their allegiance and the support, patronage to His Eminence, the National Chief Imam. The Chief Imam cherishes it so much. He wish he could always come to the northern region any time there's an invitation for him to. But you know of uh, old age, he's, he has 10 hundred years just this April. And also for activities that are beyond his control here within the southern sector, uh, we cannot do and attend to all other programs. But we, we pray to Allah that the, you know, to give us the opportunity to do what we can, inshallah. Um, His Eminence, the National Chief Imam, is very much concerned about the development of the Muslim youth. That is why recently, I mean, barely 13 days ago, he appointed me as the director of uh, youth programs and also in charge of interfaith programs in his office, in the office of the National Chief Imam. Uh, this is a great privilege for me. Uh, I find it as an opportunity to serve my community. Uh, and the little advice that we hear from him all the time, especially his concern, is deep, deep, deep concerns for the development of the Muslim youth. I think this is one of the reasons why he thought I could, I could serve, to carry such messages across to the Muslim youth, wherever in the country. And inshallah, uh, the northern region will be seeing me often uh, from now onwards, inshallah, to interact with you, gather your advice, mobilize the support uh, that we need, needs to be done so that we, we find a way, chart a good way of developing the, the Muslim community wherever we are. Now, as I started saying, the chief imam is very concerned about developing the Muslim youth. He always says that he thinks that the Muslim youth or community will develop. Uh, the Muslim community will develop by developing the Muslim youth. Uh, and and that, that, that is in two ways. Uh, three, but two are very much essential. Uh, they are the prerequisite of the development of every community. And that is education and skills acquisition. Uh, skills acquisition is a form of education, informal edu education, such as artisanship, the carpentry, the electri electrical work, the uh, plumbing works, the, how do you call it, uh, masonry work, uh, you know, mason construction work. And that. These are jobs that does not necessarily have, you, you don't necessarily have to go to school to study. But of course, there are other aspects. The, this, this, this job is also included in the formal education sector where you can go at the vocational training colleges and study carpentry, study plumbing work, study gas work, study construction work, all that. But if you are unable to do so, there are a lot of informal work, workers, you know, those that we call the maces, those that we call the plumbers, those that we call the electricians, those that we call the TV repairers, the mobile phone repairers, and the rest. Today, Ghana Telecom University and other universities have, have drafted and are you know, offering courses in mobile phone repair, laptops repairs. It means these are serious areas that need to be looked at. Now, what we are trying to say is that the chief human believes so much that if you are unable to acquire a secular education or, info or a formal education, these are good opportunities for you to find a local artisan, local uh, plumber, local electrician, local construction worker, a messy or whatever, or, or a contractor, to follow him and be an apprentice and learn a trade and learn something, learn a skills. In four or five years, you become a master. You become you know, somebody who champions his own future. You have your future in your own hands. Your, in your, your destiny is in your own hands. You can champion whatever it is that you want to do because you have an employable skills. People could employ you. Companies could employ you even with that certificate. With your experience, you could be employed. You could actually become, you know, a sustainable person on your own, a responsible person. Now, this is the informal sector. The formal sector is education, where we start, the Prophet ﷺ had told us, taught us that talabul ilmi farida talabul ilmi farida tun ala kulli muslimin wa muslima the seeking you know of knowledge you know start from when you were born when you were in your cradle up, up to the time that you go to your grave you know today you go to you know it has become a norm that you go to university and see a 50 man 50 year old man 
or woman or 60 year old man or woman pursuing a degree course or a master's degree this is the words of the prophet muhammad sallallahu but we have allowed other people to take advantage of this you know, the chief imam is concerned that we the muslim community we should give so much emphasis and priority to the development of the muslim youth today it is you know unequivocal truth is it is you know undeniable that the youthful population of africa is has the africa has the highest percentage of youth than all other continents and looking at it as well when you when you have a deep research you conduct a deep, deep research i am privileged to see some of it that are coming up right now you you, you some of the research are coming from nigeria that the muslim community is also being dominated by muslim by youth about 60% of the Muslim youth, in fact, some are even saying 70% of the Muslim community around the world are, are, are youth between the ages of 35 or 40 downwards. So what we are saying is that not only in Ghana, if Islam wants to develop into a religion that we want to see, a peaceful religion, a very you know, a holistic religion that has everything in it, Islam is a way of life. Everything from the from the time you wake up from your sleep, Allah taught you how to how to conduct your life. You wake up from your sleep. Islam tells you, say Alhamdulillah, thank Allah, show your appreciation to God that you has He Alhamdulillah, amatani ahyani amatani Alhamdulillah, amatani ahyani bad an amatani. I seek you know I I, I I seek appreciation from Allah. I'm showing my gratitude to Allah who has, you know, who has uh, w awakened me from, but after he had actually caused my death or have, after he had actually, after I had actually died. Because sleeping is half of, is like half of death. Now what we are saying is that the Muslim community should do everything possible to educate the youth. Uh, we have a great opportunity in this country that the government has introduced seven, eight years ago, the student loan trust fund. Is guaranteeing for uh, you know people who can have who don't have means of guarantorship either by parent or his family member they can go to their church or to the mosque or to the municipal uh, municipality for them to guarantee for them here the office that we are sitting the chief imam's education trust fund where i am privileged to be an executive director we have guarantee to over 4300 muslim youth that are assessing the student loan of Ghana, which means government has helped them to complete their second their, their university or tertiary education through the teachers' training colleges, the, the technical universities, the universities, the polytechnics, and the rest. Allah. Alhamdulillah, some of them have started paying. Others are still, have, you know, are still looking for jobs to start paying. When we want to use the, this opportunity to call on all those that have, you know, completed to start paying. It doesn't. It doesn't cost much. It's about 50, 60 Ghana a month to take you five years to complete to pay. Now, what we are saying is we want to use this opportunity to tell everyone that you don't have a choice. It's, you don't have any excuse now to say that, oh, I, I finished secondary school through the, how do you call it, free senior high school, and I'm, because universities are not free, so I cannot go to university. No, that's a lie. You, cannot, you don't have any excuse anymore. Because through the Education Trust Fund of the Chief Imam, the Zakat Fund of Parliament, Tijaniya is also coming on board to guarantee for Muslim students. Allah. Sunset Fund, the Chief Imam of the Education Trust Fund, has so far guaranteed to over 4,300 Muslims. Allah. They are accessing the student loan. Some have even completed. What we are saying is that if you are able to uh, finish senior high school, graduate well with flying colors, or at least you, you don't have F, or D in your adequate grade marks at the senior high school, and you apply to any university in this country, you get an admission. When you get an admission, come to us, you know, we will guarantee for you and you'll be assessing the student loan from the government, and you'll be able to go to school. And I'm, 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 you know, I'm very happy to tell you and pleased to tell you that 70% of our beneficiaries come from the northern regions of Ghana. And that is very pleasing to me. Very pleasing to me that, you know, our people in the north are taking much advantage of it than those in the southern sector. Uh, so these are some of the things that we wanted to share with our communities in the north. Uh, the other thing that the chief imam is also concerned about is that this Sakawa thing that has engulfed the country and is giving us bad names. You know, Sakawa is not a way of life. Sakawa is not, 
is not a means of sustenance. You know, the police, the CID, the FBI and CIA in America and the rest, they will, they will definitely catch up to you one day. And these are haram money, haram property, you know, things that you gather. These are people's property that you acquire unlawfully. So we want to use this opportunity to tell everyone that, you know, we should find a means of sustenance, not through Sakawa. And parents who observe that their children are into Sakawa, they should pray for them and, you know, you know, advise them to stop this thing. And they should not encourage them to do Sakawa and bring them money. It is never right. It is never right. The last thing we wanted to say is that the three northern regions today, alhamdulillah, five northern. the five, five northern regions today, alhamdulillah, have uh, an opportunity to have the one village, one, one dam. So the youth do also not have an excuse to say that they do not have farmlands. The, 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 the already the farms in the northern regions are, uh, you know, uh, very, how uh, do you call it, uh, conducive enough to grow almost everything that we want to grow. In one village, one dam has come, and we are hoping that the government is able to implement this project so that all the three, all the five northern regions have dams in their communities so that the youth should take advantage of it, especially those who drop out, do drop out from school. This, they should take advantage of the agriculture sector. Grow your farm. If you start with one acre, by next year, two years, you know, you'll be surprised that if you are committed to it, you will, do, you will grow to two acre, three acre. Look, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a cattle rare. He's a livestock farmer. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was a livestock farmer. Dawood was a livestock farmer. Even Jesus Christ was a livestock farmer. All these people, all the prophets, messengers of Allah, they are livestock farmers. They, in fact, they, that is why the Prophet ﷺ had given us the indication that kullukum ra'in or kullukum mas'ulun andra iyati. Every one of you is responsible. It's a responsible person. But how do you become responsible? You become responsible by starting first with your family. Start taking care of your family. And then you extend it to your community. You know, and then he says, Allah will ask you of your responsibilities on the day of judgment. Your wife, how did you treat her? How do you provide a means of sustenance for her? Your children, how do you treat them? How do you provide a means of sustenance to them? So let's take this opportunity, you know, to go into either livestock farming, uh, sheep, cattle, uh, cows, goat, and whatever, or poultry. I'm a poultry farmer myself, as I'm, as I'm talking to you. I have a poultry farm with over 2,000 farm, uh, bears. And I'm also, hopefully, inshallah, wanting to expand into guinea fowl and the rest. So I want, I want to encourage our youth to do agriculture. You know, it's a good opportunity for us to be engaged. It will engage you, and then you'll find a fruitful means of sustenance, which is also halal. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you in the Northern Television for this time and opportunity. We all we ask Allah to help you and guide you Amen. and then to send the right to send the good messages that to all the destination that is supposed to reach, inshallah. Thank you. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Uh, we are speaking, we are interacting with uh, Al Haji Huzaima, uh, the PE to the national chief imam. Uh, actually he spoke uh, a lot and then he's always proud of the, the north. Uh, we used to have the three northern regions. Now we now have Savannah region and then Northeast region, making it uh, five northern regions. Inshallah, Rabbi, we thank Almighty Allah and we thank the Office of National Chief Imam for sharing this uh, precious advice and the ways of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Muslim brethren in the northern part of the country and all uh, the single communities in the country at large. So, Tisa, Tukwaza, Lapoma, Nama, Kachaka, Sokanza, Bangi, Alhaji Uzi mangonza kukorsha anzanti mususu mabidigo ma nama wani national chief imam nyela na mfukusongo nguri tuturu pam wanyela nguri tuturu za sachepi bushil dengba tamal neka tangpa nkwala nchante ba gambaga na lirugu wali wali bolga neka tangpa nkwala damongu salga bwali wa ango maza sachepi ni national chief imam neta nkam udadro sungu bela azugu balila na achimbi pola na po asara ni iti nantu kwa vihi kupuni pampongo dunia ya wanzugu vihi viru vishia ngulisi ni kamang musulu ntangbana puni nirebu kwa kupuni pishu obu bi pishapoi shibu ni pishu obu shibu ni pishapoi ba mvihi mwoyel shiman la ninyi ala po asara ni na achimi ngalisi kalaro maja ka national chief imam kushuma pam za nchenti geni na achimi bisi zugu kadaba yu yoko bufu kasani kara zangwa ala haji uzima nulabgi na achimi bipola nupu asara ba jina 
eh du tundana o office puni karazan la kwa no mantu kasan yela yi no ko man ku sanga yi sambanne ka aku amfani zanta muci no kwa mu manga zancen yi sukuru yare na dinfa sukuru yare eh kaman nutun bahana ban bahana tela dima ban nan ne eh headdresser dima ban nan camping train ban tum ne mesel tuma nutun bahana kam fitta din za ta bloro balgo balgo kam o kala na national chief ma yana tikban ta manga ne pan wannan karan sukuru ko yan nan vuxwa na won wanya tilgi eh duniya ya hunzan ce ne ciya ma tikban ta manga tun a sace pi won kan mar ununu tuma nun wanda je won ban kirkiri in mara kana laban fa siyasa na ban bace ni sukutla tikban ta manga ka tigba ta sukutu ma nan nusayi kan mu wati ni ka sukuru ma ka sunguti kai ni ba office o ma na ma ntisabi na sekendi sukuru ku bana vila ne ka o apply university kam ka baitu admission halu be nu me kalgiri won chem na ba national chief ma office ba mar form sai sai ku fili ka ba guarantee yu ba sanin zantu ka ba turu eh loan bila bila ku jara hal utinai mu yu gor kam eh to sai no ko sunu au be to sata nan zugo ne ba office ma nama ne ba guarantee bisi ka ba na university dan ko bisi to sai na sine change 4000 plus na ba ne to sai na sine change nan zugo national chief ma office la to sai na so ma mun pune ne pisha pui ba pune eh ko bu pune pisha pui yila eh to truma na nan zugo misali we ni te zan to sai na san ma la sabe do sai na kaman course ta to sata ni change za chapinya la an yi na northern part of the country ni kaban nan hamdala na kan nyunyi bin zanta ba ban nan su prison chen la ma nama ban gunu bin ko ba kai yanzu da na muhammad sallallahu ta'ala wa alihi wasallam ni anab dauda alihi salam nin bon kan kan anabod ma chapi na ba pam dan yala na agrub ni piya gurba da su gwan kamar ubilan wanda je in yalan gwan gunu no shi nigi Pieri Busi, não é um jovem anama, o mar não se é é jogo, um gundo não se põe, não se é tu sai e não change, quando ele só cansa, nele curtir de não acabar um jogo, não gurunho, o nhalo um gundo não se, do jogo terceiro, te quanto manga, cada vez a lama anama, cada pim pam, cada adu a pam, não se entende tudo, não me nhalo bunchei de tanto campeão, mal bem de não patrou na, é a lá de usei mas é de Often we see me in the northern part of the country, and then uh, the northeast region, which is a, a young region. We just want to encourage the office of the national chief, ma'am. The northeast region and the savannah region. These are the two uh, younger regions in the northern part of the country. We need a lot of attention from the office of the national chief, imam, uh, especially the youth as the youth leader. Uh, of the office of national chief imam want to seek your indulgence so that uh, at least most of your activities will be concentrated in uh, these uh, two regions because uh, we need more and uh, much development from the office of national chief imam we, we were privileged that after the creation of these uh, six new regions in the country the national chief imam first step uh, first feet step on the northeast region when he came uh, this year march the regions were created uh, February this year, and then March, that is the following month, the National Chief Imam, His Eminence, and then Sheikh Abdullah the Sisi, and Sheikh Mustafa, and the Vice President himself, all came to grace the annual celebration of the Northeast region. We're privileged to have this, and we say thank you to them. Uh, thank you, Allah Uzema, and then uh, may Allah bless the office of National Chief Imam and increase his unflinching support. And then just like uh, we said, Muslims, I always want to encourage this time, we should try to... Uh, have love among one another love i always say is older and stronger than unity just like uh, in the diwan of sheikh ibrahima who said that uh, when he was describing love in his poetry he said what would take a salman of fathers be shokil habibi now and he said uh, Kazaka karama tili ahli wilayatin Faminhu unilu ma unilu li yuhumada Aya barru liya kafi bijahi nabiyina Litra zak ubaidal ma yarumu wa turshida This, I want to say Love is always stronger than unity Love is always older than unity Let's encourage the bond of love Among all the ummah than unity If we love each other Like Sheikh Rama said in his diwan I think unity will be a bonus added to the ummah We just want you to use your blessed tank of national chief imam to recite a dua on all that we said and all the supplication that uh, we made here so that allah will bless us because we are in the midst of national chief imam and we want uh, his blessings more and more we see him as national chief imam of ghana but some of us we consider him as a supreme leader of a uh, uh, islam worldwide because wherever he goes in the world he's highly ranked 
the topmost rank they consider even in southern arabia we have seen in television that they pushing the honor him in southern arabia and then we know every part of the world southern arabia is the last part everybody want to add both in islam when he gets there we see the honor that uh, the king and other uh, ulama they, they honor him use his blessing to recite a dua سرات الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم في العالمين انك حميد مجيد اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما اغلق والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق والهادي الى صراطك المستقيم وعلى عليه حق قدره ومقداره العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين امين 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 اللهم ربنا حبنا من ازواجنا وذرياتنا قوه اعين وجعلنا للمتقين اماما اللهم انا نسالك خير المساله وخير الدعاء وخير النجاه وخير العلم وخير الامل وخير الثواب وخير الحياه وخير الممات وثبتنا وثبت موازيننا وحقق ايماننا ورفع درجتنا وتقبل صلاتنا وتقبل خطيئتنا ونسالك اولى من الجنه برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين يا رب العالمين فاتح السلام وتوب علينا يا مولانا انك انت التواب واغفر لنا وارحمنا انت المولانا وانصرنا على القوم صلى الله عليه وسلم He is one of the spiritual body, he is the teacher staff, he also do Mazi weekly glory station.
Shikaruzukazuna, he says he's updated, he's been well informed. Sheikh Mustafa Ibrahim keeps him informed all the time. Why the Sheikh Limon who visit Kuma? So to say, Sheikh Mustafa Ibrahim ran on land. I'm a Shima, the agent of Badi, come on, the lad in the Aure, Yanchi Yasia, Aura Aure. To Alhamdulillah, 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 and Tisa Suna and Tisa Mr. Sita, one year see you in the Northern Television, one of the NTV, one of the Mangaka, two year to our parts of Camduna Yangsu, which are now into the Mampuru Islamic Council of the Nuni. Nubula banning a door gani and sent to Canal Malam Pastishi Maya, Kachan Tuni, Zogo Pamagbaya, Nitaba, Sulamam, Munya, Imam, Sheikh, Al Hassan Ibrahim, Nuni, the Adua Ganama, and Miss Sita, Castishma, Kachan Tuni, Malam Salam Aliku. I want to my show. So do I love you, Karen. I'm Now, on the Masogo. Now, on Palmania. Now, on some in Nambo. Woman to Manica, Ben Mandu, and now go to my solar to now go me. Do I not do that? Hell, now, don't you? It's the minimum now to go me. It's the machine now to go me. Now, on some in Nambo. It's the little girl from Puli, on Tanduli, no Dirunusa, and when the Zosa, now you in the poverty. Now you follow now, no, 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 no
ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وكنا عذاب الدنيا وكنا عذاب الاخره برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين يا رب العالمين فاتحه ام الفضل فضل شدني البركه فضل ننتي بان من فرغو من فرغو لما ما نما دغبان دغبان لما ما نما تن كم لما ما نما كان من فضل ننتي با نما ناوني اي تي في من كم دغ ما تو كفو كم دا غبار لا ام بي بي دم مال مسلس يتوا نما يتوا سو دن دن نما دي البركه كبي مالي كفاب مالي كان ينكر مالي كفن مالي كفو كم دا مالي Muzika Alhaji mama shani panshaka mkubi ya ni minta ya minta ata kuzanti mampurugu nuturunu musulmi kamu nkambi duna ya wansugu tuwa mtepi ima angwe zang panshaka za ntete musulmi nwa. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Dembele nina kabwa adinu adinu wana ka esmini ka ni musulmi kanza biwe ni aki tise ladi ya nina ka adinu machantuni. So te mampurugu nop east te bonte mwanga. Depois a cama a dizer o meu tu a depois a cama é marrom cada um não a minha só espera na minha de só o cam minha musulmã o povo mora cá bem o dia que o teu tradição maria de a minha cachan tu né a cunha lá e tu agora então tu andas só a carne no lá que é maria bela porque dentro da casa para bela dentro da minha carinha na só o mamãe se não pode mais sentar mal alhamdulillah então só um belo manche não a fazer pena o dia chega o nível zacaria quando a gente halin ao aia yinni um pão só o dono Nanti mara nampak ini sih, syak munir. Nanti mungkin yang zaman baru mana zaman ni mah zaman tua senti selalu kau dah cepat nampak ini. Kamu abang pun dah senyap sih, mah zaman dulu tu sih mana. Baru mana yang ada anti waktu modern TV television bersiu. Kalau yang ada anti suka dah cepat nampak ini, kau zaman pang dan benang pamti. Kata nama kita orang mana Haj. Muhammad Sani, o bazongo pa ngo zang pa mtu zuko pa ngo kama kubeni la tete dola bani la shirima kando mwana wana albarka na tete bihiga pune imaru bila de pala pam nchini na musulmani saadi ne hali yalego ana vya nene alqali mati tayiba sadaka hali iku yale mabi yato azulum baale kaka mau sufuni malu sara zui iku yale mabi ba duama nchini pia kuhumpu fujingali bi ah ebu mbwa mule azafaroa Itiabu adini ma ya tuasala ki maluma. Uye nang e marlada. Uye bula nang yasa ila marlada. Zo na wong pangsa musulin si. Wong kam yang pangsa musulin si na wong pangsa mo. Wong kam yang labsa musulin si nyangan duma na wong tu nasara. Do min anna muhammad dahal barka. Do min ala qur'ana azim dahal barka. Te tuunda mami na wong paham ba. Te bang kala na wong doam te dalia. Te bang maran duma na wong paham te. So kam diya laburan ya shilin duma na wong temo. NTV na wong taham katoone. NTV in duwa na wong tahan katoone. Konsay Muslim Youth Association ba pamu zaacha pa nang ba yinne na wong paham ba darliya. Na wong paham ba karama. Na wong paham ba haski. Anna Muhammad dahal baraka. Tuna nang ma fatiha yambu. Shau poy ki ipal adua manama, ti chenye ni kachama ni banya ndugu songo bebu na puni ngonya konsel muslim asisi chama ngonya hona bure muazo, nti sa bihugu ma puni unyele wangpanguru manga pam kama rahanga la mani le mama dema na afya dema sisi kuni executive ma donko ane kama mprogrami muslim sisi nola kaje kano ba yisugu ukuna mara kala ma yini nuga pasi zanchi ya muslim tunto tu moani ni nanta adi ni maanishi mne dunto tikpang tamanga. Nda shokam unpam shokam kwa shokam zaidi ya nchi wapuni bena kala habari mati ya ulugra ntro shokam dunia yangu zuko insha Allah hura bidu zuko hana bila muaz. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم لك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا سرادة المستقيم سرادة الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المكذوب عليهم ولا الدالين انتسيا دنكو ننكمبل ما نن الدعاء مبن يلن يلبن شيلو كم زا جب نيوان لان يلشيل زا إنن لتوصلي ننعونو إكو ننبل ما نن الدعاء ما دال بركة مانكو يلن شيما نعوني جاكا 
kwansa musulmi association na wuni ta zankan nan lan wannan wannu ne kai ne yi arkam zaka ti canna ta canna lan nan wannan wun yure rasulullah da halbarka pune ka tihi yadda na addini kan yala wannan wun bunin ya ka nirin kanan nan to damka na wun ya nan wa addini wannan guruka har yin wannan tabo burka ne jimka yala ne kilo igbarka ka yin yan naham ka ti yadda ta musulmi din za ta baki daya na wuni utum ta imani kal amta zalugun yinni ka ta zabiu ciya maka na wanfa ta zanta zana jannatul na'im ka ta zamar su duwa da zugunwa kamza sun ga kwansa musulmi association ko samjuwa bela na wun sane ka ta dai miyar su kamza bun shi liban nan ma na wun wanya ya su kam ni su kam duk chaka inin saltara na dam isufu in zan mu yuwa su sun feshi ne ki da yan sun ga kai ni sun ga da guhar bande ara ma guhar lanyin mantar su eh yanta sai ni yanta hila na wun zugo eh bi yanta hila Mr Isham eh bi yanta hila honorable muazu eh bi yanta hila chairman eh bi yanta honorable Mr Baba eh bi yanta so 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 yan bi yanta tilan balma eh yanta tilan na wun zugo to inin ni yan yanta tilan na wun zugo ma yin da cika ya to a sha man kan dai kwana kwansa ya musulmi association executive na ba alluma ma da na ba a fada ma addinin yin nan fusan wanta yi na palo yani mallan imani na wannan dami dangun wannan na wannan nan ka ka ta dai suhuri su kam na wuni ta ji u dangunan ti yan bangmanin na wuni finin laku san ti kenan alhamdulillah 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 buta na wun yalan wanyan kai yalan bun biyo na wun yalan wanyan kai kaka cayi kamin yalan bun sun na wun yalan wan layan fashi kan garlala kan yatta su kam addini kan yalan bun yinni addinin wan bu walgara ta halan wanna halama ngwetu wale ki ta bang yamang ji yanyin lamana da zugo mampurgu za north east region northern region savannah region ya ara kam apa west apa east ti ya ti so kam za na addini ma ka fannin vugu yinni won mar addini program za ta won bolin ti na ti yalla bun shi ti yan taka pune nan ka tabbata an ta so ka da zugu ta kwana ta musulmin za ta fe na won tamti imani ka yol sete ti yinni kam za won mar bun bo sha na won nan da ka tare Alhamdulillah anti sa chairman wanci nan na lugushi lo manna ma kanka qur'ani yani ne yuridu na linurfihu nurallahi bi afwahihim wallahu mutimman nurihi walau karihal kafirun to alhamdulillah benaka chairman cinan lando manna ma eh zantar kawo ka kwan sun zace fi da umma zugun ki jiwo manna ma da umma kan ya program sha kan nan ne a tana yungu kam 930 zan kenta ba ta 930 yungu kan ka bone da umma northern television ntv sugunan la eh ngomunya ka hosma ngomunya sulaiman hisham general secretary to mampur islamic council maninya ka host mari bi kuma kar chenna to ni yasa ka tana mar program sha kan ban yurin bone makka da sa makka mun ba ka chenna na tiku puzum hanna won tan kurga yi hazan dal halini kurga ta hawo munnya makka mun ba yasa Mwanzal kameraman mbe background ma pune ki igware ki sumar be ka pam masjid asama ka anin kuri afano ma won ka tubu ni director anans won zal kameraman beti yang ma jipi zugo zan tar po ka pur sokam sokam za gobelala yelmi ma biya na ata na kam na badin ntv na arzo makam ba ko man ka yuwar pam pam ka par volume ka ba won ni ta afada ma won mar kwansi si zan patro ma nama nin sokam assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi taala wa barakatuh Today we had the opportunity of meeting uh, Sheikh Armiao, the PRO Public Relations Officer of the National Chief Imam, and then uh, we want him to uh, speak on contemporary issues in the country concerning Islam. Sheikh, salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Yeah, crime is on the ascendancy in our country, and it's a worry for all of us. It's really a threat to our security. Um, we are now confronted with the issue of terrorism, kidnapping, uh, armed robbery across the country, and. the northern part of the country which used not to be part of this tradition we are worried that of late this is also happening in the northern part of our country um, we know the northern people to be people of honesty people who are very hard working people who are very loyal and they are very law, uh, law abiding so this new trend is disturbing is a matter of concern we want to advise and educate all the citizens of the northern part of our country particularly those of us who are muslims to understand that we owe to our country a duty to contribute to its de development the quran talks to us to be honest and to be good if you remember the quran tells us that ta'awanu 'ala al-birr wa taqwa wa la ta'awanu 'ala al-ithm wal 'udwan support one another in doing that which is righteous and good but that do not support each other in doing that which is evil because allah loves those who are god fearing piety is our tradition piety is our attribute and with piety we can make contribution to national development with piety we are more discerning and to make a distinction 
between what is right what is, and what is wrong, what is false and what is true. And this is the message that we want all our brothers and sisters, our aunties and fathers in the northern extraction to understand. Let's all use the name of Islam to promote national construction and build a country that is sound on our human values. This is what, what we want. Remember the Quran tells us we as Muslims owe the whole of the world a duty. So the Quran says, Kuntum khayra ummah linnas bil ma'ruf wa tanhawna anil munkar wa billah. That you are the best of nations ever raised for the benefit of mankind. If we are the best, we must manifest that kind of glory to show the world that we can lead the world in morality. We are the light and the salt of the world. When the world is, is hopeless and the world cannot see the, 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 the hope in future, they have to count on the moral integrity of Muslims. And I think that this one must be a message strong for those of us in Accra, those of us who are in the north, upper east, upper west, northeast of the country, all of us in this country as Muslims must contribute to national development. And this we can do on the basis of our sound values, integrity, honesty, love, compassion, sympathy, uh, care for one another, loyalty to, to one's nation, hard work. These are the values that we can use to build a nation. Anything a part of this will not be very good for our country. This is my message for the whole of the people of the net, which I do through the Northern TV. May Allah bless all of us. As an inspirational speaker, because the entire country, especially the northern part of the country, uh, cherish your lovely talks on the media, in the electronic media, and in the, both radio and TV. They cherish your, your voice and the kind of senses that you pump into the minds of the Ummah. Uh, I just want to use this opportunity and find out from you when, because sometimes the Muslim brethren, say the Ummah, they need inspirational talks to inspire them. Mm -hmm. And currently, uh, I was speaking to one, uh, the deputy chairman for the Northern Regional Peace Council, in the person of Dr. Al Hussein, mm -hmm. who said uh, most of the time they need to organize inspirational forums yeah. where they have inspirational speakers come and address the Ummah, seamstress, tailors, fetus, and what have you. Especially we have this time around, we used not to have tertiary institution, yeah. but because of the availability of a lot of tertiary institution in the northern part of the country today, we had a lot of people, strangers, coming from the south, mm -hmm. and they are attending schools there. When are you thinking of advising your office or mobilizing your office to come down to the northern part of the country and host such inspirational talks that will inspire? Because what you have just said alone is enough. Yeah. Any person who hears this will be more happy and happier. So when are you planning to do more of sectors in the northern part of the country? No, it's a, it's a program we have been, you know, the chief member has been very inclined towards matters of peace. And uh, we keep on advising him. And uh, whenever the opportunity comes, he tries to organize. You know, we, we, the la during the last election, for example, he gave permission for us to engage in peace education in, con in conjunction with the, with the Christian Council. And we traveled across the regions of the country. I mean, from Accra here, we came to Tamale, we came to Bolga, we, we came to Wa, um, and just to, to meet the young people and talk to them about the need for us to be more disciplined, engage in more constructive activities. And um, uh, this we did together with the Christian Council with the support from Danida. And I think that we are sourcing for funding uh, because these programs of this nature requires financial support. And uh, the chief imam is not sleeping and uh, we are sourcing for funds. Once we, we get the funding, we'll draw a more comprehensive program that will bring us I mean, to the north and other parts of the country. Now we have um, more than one northern region. So now we have the, the northern region, we have the north, northeast region, then we have the upper west, we have the upper east. Um, so these are all part, uh -huh, and so on, and the savannah. And we have the savannah region also. These are all people of the northern extraction. If you, take, if you put them together, our culture is virtually the same our food and everything, our conditions, our plight, um, issues that confront us are virtually the same. And so these are things that we must address. And the more we address them, the more we are able to keep control of, of our people, especially our, our young ones. Our young people need more orientation. They need more education. They need more opportunities. They need more skills. These are things that if you are able to provide, then you can get the young people now to live a more productive and fruitful life. But if you leave them like that, then, then the evil thought begins to set in. And so, as we even talk about the crime on the ascendancy in the northern part of our country, we are also thinking of the factors 
that leads to this to, to these kind of developments, which we do not like. So when there is so much deprivation, when the young people feel so hopeless, there's desperation, there's there's frustration. Uh, the op opportunities are not enough. Then the evil-minded people will take advantage of them, including vigilantism, even including vigilantism. Politicians are taking advantage of our idle young people, which for me is a very worrying trend. Now, for us to be able to really discourage that, we need to provide opportunities to our young people. That is only when we can stop them from, do, from doing that. So I share the concern and the sentiment, and we are hoping that as we keep on searching for funds and we get it, we'll come up to the northern part of the country, and we shall be doing a lot to really seek and, and pursue the development of our own people. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. May Allah strengthen you the more, may Allah strengthen you and strengthen the office of National Chief Imam. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.